Welcome to the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roll, and today we're going to put Longevity's Force Cut 42i head to head with the Thermodynamics Cutmaster 42. For the first part of this test, we're going to plug each unit into a dedicated 15 amp 110 circuit utilizing the pigtails provided with each one of these machines. And we're going to see what the maximum cut is on each one of the machines. So let's get to it. This is the Thermodynamics Cutmaster 42 on 3.8 steel, running off our dedicated 15 amp circuit. Comes in, makes a real nice cut. Who would ever thought we could have got 3.8 cut out of a 110 unit? And here we are on 3.8 with the Longevity Force Cut 42i. I'm using their optional standoff, which allows you to keep a consistent distance off the workpiece. It really makes for a nice cut. Still here with the Longevity Force Cut 42i. Uh, coming in here, and uh, you can see I'm kind of cutting away at this bottom of this one inch first. What I really should have done right here is about right now I'll start going back to a 90 degrees but I thought I'd include this in you know it's kind of hard to work around the camera sometimes and get the right angle but it's amazing that these 40 amp machines will cut through one inch on 220 outstanding job as I'm finishing the cut here coming to the uh, bottom notice that the lower left corner has got some drows hanging on it and that's primarily because I was at an angle I tried to take a second pass at it real quick but what I learned was it's probably just better to grab a pair of pliers. It's just hung up a little bit by the dross on the bottom and just pull that piece off and then the dross will knock right off. Now to the Thermodynamics Cutmaster 42. Here again coming in, uh, it's very standard when you're cutting something super thick to try to blow away that first lower corner. And right here I should be coming back to like more of a 90 degrees. but. Here again, when you're working around the camera, you can't really see exactly what you're doing. You're just kind of going by uh, past practice on this. But I thought I would point that out just to kind of show you guys a little bit better technique than what I was using. You can see right here on the thermodynamics unit, we have the exact same result. Uh, Dros hung up there on the bottom, had to use the pliers once again. This is the Thermodynamics Cutmaster 42 on 250,000 6061T6 aluminum. As you can see, it's just uh, making easy work of it. Here again, we're running on 220. I just left it up at uh, 42 amps. Back to Longevity's Force Cut 42i. Uh, here again, the standoff works like a champ. And I actually felt that the Longevity cut this 250,000 aluminum better than the Thermodynamics unit. Well, there you have it. Uh, just to recap, I took 90 PSI out of the compressor, fed it into both machines. We ran it off of a 15 amp 110, and we were, with both of these machines, able to cut 3 8 inch steel. Um, cut quality and cut speed was too close for to me to call a winner. Uh, plugged in on the 220 side, um, in my opinion, uh, I would have never thought a 42 amp machine would be able to cut 1 inch. 1010 steel. Uh, both of these machines performed well above my expectations. Um, both these machines do come outfitted with a shoulder strap. Uh, I did remove the one off the Longevity because I'm using it on my CNC unit. Uh, that's another thing I kind of want to talk about real quick is this Longevity unit comes with this EuroConnect type torch. Um, you simply disconnect it here. I'll call it a dual Euro Connect because we got a Euro Connect up front as does the Cutmaster 42 but the difference is down here at the torch we can simply unplug this hand torch use the same lead and then we can plug in a machine torch for our CNC table just as quick as a snap. It just simply goes in, indexes and screws down. Now you can leave a dedicated lead on your CNC table um, Talking about the CNC operation, the new Longevity Force Cut 42 eyes will come with a CNC port on the back. So it makes it just a little bit more versatile. So you can have your machine torch hooked up to your CNC table, simply disconnect it, normal operation, and go right back to your hand torch in just a matter of seconds. 
make your cuts, whatever you have to do, cut off a trailer hitch, um, sever some steel or aluminum stainless, get that knocked up out of the way, and go back to your CNC operation just within seconds. So to me, that's a really nice option to go with with the uh, longevity machine. Um, once again, I don't like to pick a winner, and uh, in my opinion, both of these machines are outstanding. So I'll let the viewer uh, look at the cuts, um, look at what meets your needs, and you decide uh, for the, the price point what's, uh, what's the better machine for you. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.